seven days. Oh my gosh. We've been late to dinner every single day. Four stops. You bug the crap out of me. <laughs> Three countries. A little bit magical. No kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm the world's okayest mom. Now I'm laying here on the couch and it's very quiet. And why is that? Because the kids aren't in this episode. As most of you know, I just turned 30 and for my birthday, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided to surprise my mom, the person who gave me life, <laughs> with a seven day trip through Europe, just the two of us for my 30th birthday. We made a lot of memories, we had a lot of fun, and here's what happened. Day one of this trip was flying. It is no joke getting to Europe. It is a very long flight. So we just got on the taxi in Amsterdam and <laughs> Can you tell? We're a little raggedy. We didn't sleep much. <laughs> this is our room. Rooms on boats are not like hotel rooms, but this one's actually really nicely sized. Our room has a little balcony. We're on a boat. <laughs> because we wanted to hit a lot of countries in one trip. And the solution is a river cruise. It's called You by Uniworld. Full disclosure, Uniworld provided this cruise for free. So we're super close to land. You don't really sail much. But you see beautiful scenery when you do sail. It's perfect for you. <laughs> I love it. But our boat is matte black. So edgy. It's the only black boat. Yeah. So it's easy to find. Look at this. The other great thing about this trip for me was all the meals are provided on the boat. And what they do is at each stop in each city, they go shopping for ingredients. So you're getting a really good taste of the cuisine of wherever you are. You just don't have to figure it out for yourself. But honestly, I'm most excited in Amsterdam to eat a bunch of cheese because I didn't realize there were so many cheese shops here. They look incredible. Today was just a really, really delicious dinner and a really fun sneak peek of Amsterdam. And tomorrow's gonna be so much fun. So, and we'll be rested, hopefully. <laughs> Till tomorrow. On day two, we were still in Amsterdam. Good morning. One thing I forgot about my mom, she's always late. Me? Let's go. I'm coming. Come on. <laughs> Come on, stop. She's folding clothes. Stop it. <laughs> stop. We started the day with an amazing boat ride through the canals. Amsterdam is built with all of these canals running through the entire city. And it was just a beautiful way to see a lot of Amsterdam quickly without having to walk. And then that was followed by a food tour. Street waffles, and it's warm. They have some really iconic foods like this fried cod that's mind-blowingly delicious. Stop number three, cheese. I did not realize how amazing Dutch cheese is and how abundant it is there. We're full, <laughs> but we're still going. It's so pretty though. We are back in the room. Oh my gosh, we had such a packed day. Okay, but tell me what you're gonna do. Were I'm you just recording. Okay, but tell me what you're going to do. We're going to talk about what we did today and what our favorite part you're was. You're recording right now. Yes, I'm recording right <laughs> now. Yes. You have to tell me. We love cheese. And the cheese here is unbelievable. unbelievable. It's blue cheese. And it's lavender. And it's but, colored with flower petals and lavender. But it's not blue cheese as in blue cheese. Oh, no, it's lavender cheese. This cheese right here, chili pesto. Coffee, Coffee cheese. cheese. I could cut some cheese for you right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a joke. At the end of day two, the boat took off to our next destination. My mom just posted up at the window of our room, taking pictures and just being like, Hannah, look, oh, Hannah. Cows. So she has about 45 pictures of cows at night and energy generating windmills. Not the cute Dutch windmills, the ugly ones. I'm in bed trying to sleep. So I'm like, mom, put the phone down and just try to go to sleep. This better get better. This better not be for the whole trip. On day three, we were still in the Netherlands. We just moseyed on down to a different city. We're in Harlem, a city I'd never heard of in the Netherlands, but it's absolutely amazing, and it was my mom's favorite part of the trip. Get in here. 
can't. I'm, I'm trying to walk. I can't do two things at oh once. Oh my gosh. It's been an interesting night. Oh my god. <laughs> it's my fault too. It's, it's her fault. fault. She woke me up. Being with my mom in such close quarters, we're in a cruise ship room. So it is bringing back memories of when I was a teenager. We're walking back to the boat, but it's a really far walk. And then we're taking off right away and headed to Germany. We are back out on the water. I just love when I'm in a new place, tasting a bunch of new stuff because a lot of it is flavors that I've never had before. This is our boat at night. Look at that little heart. Day four in Cologne. We actually felt confident enough to walk on our own to the cathedral. That's us. <laughs> if we're in a new city, I will find the cemetery. We found a cemetery. Look at this. I live for creepy stuff like that. We're headed back to the boat. She wore no hat today in the sun, so I'm not happy with that. I didn't need it. We're inside. We're not. We're walking a, a half an hour back to the boat. All you know she what? does is tell me to put on sunscreen and put on a hat and put on makeup. That's all I hear every <laughs> single day. Do you want lipstick? Oh, did you put sunscreen on? Did you get a hat? I'm 30 years old. I'm, 30. I'm still your mom. I don't need no dang hat. I'm still your mom. We're just about to go to dinner. Um, my mom's getting dressed, so it'll be about two two hours, I think, by the time we get there. Ah. I just want everyone to know that my mom's insulting my hair. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Oh my gosh. Look at that sunset. Get that out of the way. Get, you get out of the way. This is our relationship, though. Like, my mom and I roast each other a lot. This is beautiful. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Like we do not let anything slip by. So I might sound mean, but it's just how we are. <laughs> it's two in the morning. We are so jet lagged and we napped today and it was such a bad choice. And we're wearing our PJs that my mom brought, our matching PJs. See, look, look at these matching PJs. No. Well, I'm not showing your face. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's a big, big, big day. I'm so excited. Good night, everybody. Day five stop was a city called Rudesheim in Germany. It's this beautiful area just filled with castles. Oh gosh, and there's a castle up there. Look at that castle. Ooh. A little bit magical. This is like fairy tale land. It is. We are currently hiking up to a castle. Oh my goodness. This is, it's legit. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was my favorite part of the entire trip. I think it's just because it's something so foreign to me. The second we stepped foot in this castle, I wanted to cry the whole time. It was so beautiful. I don't know why I got so choked up <laughs> over That's the beautiful. castle. Wow. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. Same. Day six was in Frankfurt. We did a lot of shopping. We did a lot of exploring. We have wine and paint at the boat. It was a cute little surprise actually that the boat offered a paint class on the top deck. Hey. That's mine. Yours is really good. So as our last full day came to an end, uh, my mom and I just kind of recapped on what we had done. We're really nervous for customs. No, we're not. I'm afraid they're gonna take our cheese. <laughs> we just wanna keep our cheese. Let's just say that we've eaten a lot. Because it's a, this cruise is 21 and older, so you don't get the kids and stuff, but... Um, so it's fun. No. <laughs> we should get to sleep. We have to get up very early. I hope we actually wake up. Well, we have to. We don't have a choice. I know. We I hope to. we don't miss our train. Well, we can't miss our train. Well, we might. No, we can't. No. Well, you haven't packed your suitcases. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> 
Now day seven was a travel day. We weren't quite ready to leave Europe, so we hopped on a train to Paris, spent literally less than 24 hours there. We shopped, we ate, we saw the Eiffel Tower, we ate some more pastries, we went to a museum, we saw some art, we went to the airport and went back home. And that is how you do Paris in 24 hours. By the time we landed at home, I was just ready to hibernate. But it was so amazing to see the kids and Matt and bring them their gifts and their treats. Now traveling with my mom was the best. She's so fun to travel with. We get along really well. She is my mom, so there's definitely like, you know, mom-daughter relationship stuff. As I ventured into motherhood, my mom and I became more like peers because I understand what she's going through and, and vice versa. It's surprising because I remember when I was a teenager and it was like, oh God, my mom, Ugh. Like I never thought we'd get to a point where I'd want to like spend a week with her. And now that I'm turning 30, like that's the only thing I want in my life is just a week with my mom. I don't know what I'd do without her. I love you, mom. <laughs> So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, and if you've taken a memorable trip, write it in the comments. Tell me where you went, because maybe I'll go there next. Or if you have an idea for a future video or a future trip for us to take, leave that in the comments as well. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I still have not unpacked, and I probably gotta do that. <laughs> Till next time.